So, you're in Halifax, and you're about to get on Via Rail's The Ocean, headed for New Brunswick or Quebec. You'll be leaving from Halifax Station, built in 1928. First things first, though, since food on the ocean isn't nearly as good as the food available on Canada's other long-distance trains, head across the parking lot to the Atlantic Superstore nearby and pick up some non-perishable food to bring with you on the train. Before getting into departure information, if you're arriving at this station off of the ocean, it's not very big, you can't get lost, and the exit sign is clearly marked. If you made the mistake of checking luggage with a via rail, there is a baggage claim on the right-hand side of the doors you're arriving from. More on baggage later, though. That is important. The hotel is directly attached to the main ticket hall. Easy to find. Once you get outside, this is where you'll be boarding a bus if you're headed elsewhere in the Maritimes. Maritime Bus offers a network of destinations that really puts via rail to shame. Seriously, this van goes more places than via rail. A Ford Transit. Now for those of you leaving from this station. The first thing you'll notice when walking into any via rail station is that it will either be in dreadful condition or on its way to not being in dreadful condition. Halifax, when I filmed this, was clearly soon to be in good condition. Alright, first things first, get your tickets at the ticket counter. Where is that? You figure it out. Once you have your ticket, head over to the departures screen and then remember that this part of Canada has one train every two days, so it's unlikely you're going to end up at the wrong gate. Still, it can't hurt to familiarize yourself with your surroundings. Further emphasizing the lack of options, the boarding counter is permanently labeled with the only train number that has served this city in the last 20 years. There are two gates. Gates 1 and 2. I hate to keep mentioning the fact that this kind of thing is pointless giving service levels since there is only one possible train. If you now have your ticket and you just happen to be traveling on that one single train that serves this city three times a week, this is an important part of the video. I won't go into too much detail, but the trains via runs on the ocean are renaissance cars. I have a whole other video about them. But they aren't like Via's other long-distance fleet. The rest of Canada's long-distance fleet is spacious. It's comfortable, with extra room for extra luggage. Not the ocean. Not the Renaissance. The amount of room you have for carry-on baggage is minimal. Unlike the rest of Via's network, the size of your luggage does actually matter here, and you do need to check your bag if it's too big. For those wondering, the only other time you'll ever need to check your luggage for these kind of cars is on the Ottawa to Quebec City run via Montreal, which generally also uses Renaissance stock. Looking around the rest of the station, we'll find a plaque about some old rich white dude from a long time ago. A beautiful waiting area with uncomfortable benches and people wondering why I'm filming, and a beautiful ceiling. So beautiful, in fact, that back in 1988, the Halifax Board of Trade gave Halifax Station the ugliest beautification award I have ever seen. Seriously, look at that award. That is one ugly award. It's peeling. Via Rail, fix this. Don't forget to ask if you'll have a musician on board your train, because none of the staff will have any idea what you're talking about. The last thing you'll notice in this station is a beautiful testament to how often Via Rail updates its in-station information. A map. The thing is, Via Rail's network is shrinking at such a rate that you can easily date any station's interior by the inaccuracy of its map. This map isn't too bad, except for this. This line hasn't been operated by Via Rail since 2006. It's only 13 years out of date. Oh, time for boarding. Line up, everyone. You might not get a good seat. Your seat is reserved. Calm down. Sit while you can, because you might have almost half a kilometer to walk to your train car. The length of these trains is no joke. The platform is over 400 meters long, and they still often have to split the train in half. They even provide a shuttle if you need it. Anyways, have a good trip. I do also have a video about what to expect on board the train itself, as well as videos about some of Canada's other long-distance trains and the amenities they offer. 
Thank you very much for watching, and if you're interested in V-Rail or Canadian Rail history, this is the first video of many that I hope to be making about those topics.